Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and um, I guess you could say this is not how I usually start out my normal videos. Um, however, this piece was the inspiration for the mini album that I'm going to show you um, that I created, so I thought I'd show you the piece that inspired me. Um, I've had this piece for quite a while. Uh, it belonged to my grandma, and uh, it's a piece made in Italy and it's painted birds and it's just ornate and very pretty. Um, I use it mostly for decoration and it's just been sitting around pretty much just collecting dust. But I'm hoping um, now that it's spring uh, that uh, hopefully I can put some flowers in it or just use it as a decorative piece in my new scrapbooking room. So anyways, this piece inspired me uh, with the colors, the whites, the blues, the greens, um, the birds I love. Uh, we're still getting snow here, so it's April, and I would really, really love to just uh, get into spring. So as I was cruising my um, local scrapbooking shop's website, they I was actually purchasing Graphic 45 pre-orders, and I had a look at what the other pre-orders were, and there was a beautiful collection called Genevieve, which happens to be my name, and it's by Bow Bunny. And once I saw the papers, I immediately thought of this basin. And I thought, wow, this look, it, it's exactly my style. Um, I love the colors. And uh, yeah, so I decided to use this piece as my inspiration for the mini album. So I thought I'd share that with you. And um, I hope you enjoy um, looking through the album as much as I do and I'll be back with the album in a moment. Bye! Okay guys, I'm back. Um, so this was the Bow Bunny collection that I happened to uh, come across on my local scrapbooks website that they had for pre-order. Um, it's called Genevieve and that's my name and I thought um, because it reminded me so much of that um, piece that I just showed you and the colors and just everything about it, I, I had to have it. So, so I went ahead and purchased um, this collection pack. It comes with um, 18 sheets of double-sided designer paper, uh, one sheet of cardstock stickers, and I also went ahead and bought a few extra sheets of some of the papers that I liked um, more, that I knew I was gonna use more of. I got also blue cardstock. So here is the album. As I cruise every now and then on YouTube, come across a great tutorial. And um, Terry from Terry's Scrapbooks, she creates amazing mini albums. If you haven't seen her albums, you have to check out her YouTube channel. I will link it below as well as um, her tutorial for this album. Uh, just looking through it, she used uh, the Graphic 45 Mona Moore collection and it, it was just such a stunning album so I thought well I love this paper and I thought I'd give it a try and I'm gonna say like she didn't disappoint it was easy to follow uh, just watch it through once and then you kind of get a feel for what you're gonna be doing and just go ahead and do it and her she's got some really neat tips and tricks that I've never heard of before or used before so it was very interesting to try and I actually really liked it. Her album is a lot bigger than what I'm normally used to. Uh, this one in particular is nine and a half by seven and a half, and it has a three and a quarter inch spine. Um, I usually tend to stick to the six by six just because they take up less paper and less time, but because I had what I thought was enough paper, um, and I really liked her, the look of her Mona Moore album, I, I wanted to give it a try. So this is what I came up with. So using the Bow Bunny Genevieve, um, I really love this bird paper on the background. It's a, a larger um, design, but I think it, it just, I don't know, I just liked it, so I used it. I did ink all the pages with, um, it's actually right here. And it's a stamping up pad, and I think it's called Pacific Point. So that's what I inked the pages with um, around the edges, just to dis distress a little bit and pop out that blue. Um, I used some chipboard pieces that I had in my stash uh, of a bird cage, 
um, this little sticker here, I don't even know where I got this little guy, but um, I had him lying around in my stash and I thought he went perfectly with this paper collection. Um, a little wooden uh, embellishment that says lovely. Uh, I also used a Martha Stewart border punch or a punch around the edge. Um, and I'm not sure what this one was called, but it's got a couple different scallops going around. Um, I added some feathers. I made my own flowers out of um, a dye that I had lying around. I think I bought it at, um, it might have been Home Sense or, or something like that. I added some beads to the middle of the flowers, um, a little yellow doily that I had from Michaels, and I um, this, um, or I, I double matted this with yellow and then blue, um, just to bring the yellow out a little bit too. I did use some lace trim that I had in my stash. I uh, don't know where I got it, but it's really pretty and it went well with this paper, so I added it on. And this right here came from, uh, I think it was like the $1.50 bin at Michael's. It had random different um, ribbon on a spool. So um, I used that. And let's see what else. I also have some pearls that go around the edge here to make a frame. And just added like random embellishments around on the spine here. Not sure if that's going to be in focus, but I did make another flower and added um, a cut apart behind just to kind of frame it up and uh, matted one of the papers on yellow cardstock again. And this side is the back. And I did the same thing with the trims, used a different paper and added that yellow matting just to give it a little bit of pop. So I will start on the inside. So I just used um, a blue ribbon as a closure. I like that. It just gives you extra room to, to if your album grows a little bit, it's, it's easier to tie a ribbon than to fuss with um, any other kind of closure. So I thought that would be um, my easiest choice. And this is the inside. So like I said, it's rather long, so I'm going to start on the inside front cover, and um, right on the front, it opens up, and I really love this uh, birdcage paper. It's just gorgeous. I did add glossy accents to um, just some of the elements here, just to give them some shine. Um, I There was a, a section of embellishments that were like cut apart. And uh, this was one of them, so um, I added that bird right here. And this opens up, and it has a little stopper right here. And I used, um, I think it's a bow bunny uh, die. I don't even know what it's called, but it's, um, it's a die. And it has different frames that you can use to create um, just like an elegant frame. So I really like the way that turned out. So. Um, I used it a lot throughout the album. So that's a little photo mat that you can use right there. And this ties closed with a ribbon. Same ribbon I found um, in the Michaels $1.50 bin and it the colors went really well together. So um, I'm happy I got to use that. So this opens up. And this right here is um, a little frame so what I did was I added a piece of the uh, paper I just cut it down to kind of fit and uh, added it right here so you can add a picture on stick it in and pull it out um, another flower that I made and I added some yellow feathers so that opens up and on this side here I used one of the cut aparts as um, a stopper um, another one right here, and here's that punch around the edge Martha Stewart uh, border punch for this tag. And I just tucked that back there. So on this page here, uh, I have another flower that I made uh, with some crystals in it, some more feathers just to add embellishment. 
there's two spots for 4x4 four four pictures here and another one right here um, using the Mar Martha Stewart punch around or the edge punch and that just gets tucked in here and right here is um, another one of their ephemera cards. I added some glossy accents and a jewel and uh, I, I really love that bird cage with the birds on it. It's so pretty. And it has a tuck spot back here where you can add another picture, 4x4. Four four. And I border, I did the Martha Stewart border around this one as well. So this just closes up like that. So on the next page here, there's a waterfall. And it just, it's held together with a magnet here. I added a big embellishment flower right here. So you can just pull that back. And then um, there's quite a bit of room for pictures. Another tuck spot where I added another place to mat a photo. And an embellishment here that says beautiful. So on the next page here, there is ribbon again. So that's that same ribbon I got from Michaels and um, another card and I added glossy accents to some of the little parts just to give it some shine. Um, this opens up for a double, a double photo spread and that closes. And then right here, I added uh, a little border strip and it says happiness. And these um, are two little uh, cards that you cut out pieces that you can um, cut out of the um, cutout sheet. And I use them to create a little mat. Then you can do some journaling or small pictures on the back. And I used the um, Martha Stewart punch for the borders as well. And then there are two mats in here, so a 5 by 7 and a 4 by 6 So that just tucks back, back there. I really love this album. I think um, Terry did an amazing job creating it, and um, I had so much fun making this album. I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to do a similar one um, soon enough, I think. It, it was easy to follow, and I just loved it. So on this next page, uh, there's an envelope with, that's cl uh, held closed with a ribbon. So you open that up and there's room for um, a photo on this photo mat right here. So that just fits in here. It's a four by six photo mat. So it fits a nice size picture. And that just closes up. I did decorate it with um, a little bit of embellishment, uh, embellishments from the papers. Um, another flower here with some feathers, uh, a doily underneath here, and a cut apart right there. That just ties up. On to the next page. This one right here, I created a little um, opening spot where you can put a couple small pictures on the inside. And um, I just fussy cut around uh, this one ephemera card and used leftover paper and kind of did the same thing for the inside. Um, more ribbon from Michaels. That matched pretty well. And this opens up like this. So in here I used one of the stickers from the sticker sheet and it says happiness and that's just to decorate the front. There's two uh, mats, 4x4 four four and a 4x6 with the Martha Stewart border punch around the edges and this page right here again has the 4x4 four four, um, place for 4x4 four four pictures right here. Uh, another flower and a feather and I did slide in this little card that was uh, I think part of the cut apart sheets 
and um, this might have been part of the ephemera pack and I just glued those together and made it as a pull tag and there's this right here just as decoration so that closes up and on the next page here I have another frame um, I made a flower using a different die and added that here I put some glossy accents on the bird so that he's a little bit more sturdy when you're sliding in and out the picture um, this was an ephemera card I, I'm pretty sure and what I did was I cut it down to fit the page because it was rather long and it didn't fit so I just cut it down and pieced it together so it, it does fit this page and I used another just another piece of paper to add as um, a template for your photo and that just fits back in here and then opening this up there's another two spaces for four by four photos um, another large flower embellishment and I tucked this back behind another part of the ephemera um, pieces and this right here I believe was a piece of ephemera as well and I just um, added it on you can use some journaling underneath or whatever I thought it was cute and I used some um, some blue and white twine so that just goes back there and this side right here this is held closed with a magnet and I used that bow bunny die again to create um, a smaller mat and um, this I believe was part of a cut apart but I only cut out the bird and the um, journaling spot and I backed it on cardstock and just used it as a tuck spot so this opens up and you have two places right here for smaller photos um, using that bow bunny um, die and I have another flower here and right in here is another 4x6 um, mat with the Martha Stewart border punch and this over here is another tuck spot where you can just tuck another photo behind so oh and I use this part here that's part of the sticker sheet so that closes up and this page right here is very blue <laughs> I um, I left this one rather plain I just wanted a nice spot for a picture if you want to put something you know right on here there's another flower with some feathers and um, this is like a nice pull out um, I really like that idea it's like a um, expandable pocket and you can add like a booklet a small mini booklet that you can add pictures to so it opens up like this and there's another flap right here um, this is just glued down but you can definitely put a picture there and this is it fully open so I left a a nice size mat here it's four by six and then in the middle here there's three mats that fit into three pockets they're all the same size and I left this side plain in case somebody wants to do some journaling or add another picture so that closes up like that and fits right back into the pocket and for the last page is another um, waterfall feature this one I flipped um, Terry had it going the same way as the first waterfall and I just did this one backwards I don't know why I I just thought I'll be different and um, just make it the other way and I added another flower right here and it's held down by a magnet so you pull that back and then you have lots of room there's that my favorite page again um, lots of room for pictures I like this too and this too really um, reminded me of of my little uh, basin that I had so it was, it was quite interesting to find something with your name on it that inspires you in which you have a piece of with the same colors it was it was kinda cool so um, 
Anyway, so I used another uh, little ephemera piece right here, a sticker border at the bottom here, and attached um, this little mat with the Martha Stewart border punch. So that is the album I used, or I created, using Terry's, from Terry's Scrapbooks, uh, Mona Moore tutorial. Um, it's a free tutorial. It's fabulous. She has so many beautiful albums online. It, like, every time I see her work, something inspires me. So, um, I really hope you guys get a chance to check out her tutorial and give it a try. And, um, yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun to make. It's a little bit bigger than I normally do, but I had a great time making it. And I hope this inspires someone else to try something new. And um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to making another album really soon. And I'm really hoping that the snow goes away <laughs> very quickly because right now I'm looking out my window and there's a little blizzard going on out there. And it's April. So anyway, so this is my springy kind of album. And um, I'm hoping to start a new one right away so that I can get back online, back on track, and uh, get some more videos up. Thanks for watching. Bye.